What's up, Diabetes family? It's your boy, Percy Robinson, coming at you with another smash hit video. Now today, we are in the kitchen and we are whipping up something nice for each and every one of you. Now, if you are new here, I wanna be the first to say welcome to the Diabetes family. And also, even though this channel is dedicated to my diabetic brothers and sisters, this channel is also for the people who are on that health food journey. You feel me? <laughs> now this recipe that I'm making for you is one of my favorite recipes. It is a Chipotle black bean burger. Now I've made these before, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I was just experimenting and I really didn't know what I was doing until I figured the game out, baby. I figured the game out and I made sure these burgers not only taste amazing, but they are firm and they're not gonna fall apart on you. So you can put these on the grill, you can put them on the skillet, however you wanna cook it. Your boy Percy got ya. But anyways, we're gonna get to the video. So with all that being said, I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. And I'll see you on the other side. Holla at ya boy. Roll the intro. Okay, Diabetes family, welcome back to another addition to Diabetes Kitchen. As you see, displayed is all of the ingredients that we are using for this particular recipe. First things first, we're gonna start off with two cups of oats. This is gluten-free oats, and we're going to add just this to the blender. We're going to blend it up nice and finely, and now we are going to start off with our can of black beans well rinsed and we're going to add it to the blender now we're going to put in five portobello mushrooms and we are going to add it to the blender now after we add the baby portobello mushrooms in we are going to add one whole cooked beet now the cooked beet is going to give it a reddish color. After that, we are going to add our one half of green bell pepper and just chop it up. You don't have to chop it up and make it look fancy. Just chop it up the way you can and add it to the blender. And then we're going to do one half of a red onion. And then you can save the other half to dress up your hamburger. Now, just like with the green bell pepper, we are gonna do the same thing with the red onion. We are going to roughly chop it. There's really no need to get fancy with all the, all the fancy cuts that we usually do. We're just gonna roughly chop it vertical and then we're gonna come hit it with the horizontal and we're done and we will add it to the blender so now we're gonna add one teaspoon of onion powder one teaspoon of smoked paprika one teaspoon of cumin, one fourth cup of olive oil, and one teaspoon of garlic powder. Now we're gonna add one half can of chickpeas. 
and then we're going to add four or three if you like of chipotle chilies and now we're going to pop the top on and we are going to get ready to blend and we're gonna blend it until we get everything nicely infused. I set my settings to PRA. It seems to work out better that way. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are all blended up and ready to go. And we are going to add everything that we just blended up into our bowl. Now, if you are that person that has been watching my videos for a while, you know that I do not leave anything to waste. I am scraping the blades, making sure I get every bit of this mixture in the container. So now I'm going to add it to the bowl. And as it's being added to the bowl, you're going to notice it's going to be pretty sticky. Well, not too sticky, but this is the consistency that you're looking for. It's going to give our burgers that nice firmness that we are looking for. So now that we have everything in the bowl, I am going to add some oil to my hands and you'll see why. This is going to prevent the mixture from sticking to my hands. And I'm not gonna fully form them in my hands. I'm just gonna give it a nice form and then I'm going to add it to the parchment paper. And with your parchment paper, you want to just cut it a little bit, just like these little tiny squares like you see and we're going to add the burger to the parchment paper, just like that. Now forming these burgers can get pretty tedious. So you're going to, like every two burgers, you're going to put more oil in your hands to prevent the mixture from sticking into your hands, just like that. And once we have all the burgers formed and ready to go, we are going to put this in the refrigerator for 20 to 40 minutes. Now that we got our patties out of the refrigerator, we are going to make sure our skillet is nice and hot. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil and we are going to cook these burgers for 30 seconds to a minute on each side. Now, once you flip your burger, this is optional, totally optional. We are going to add our vegan cheese. Now, if you don't want to have the cheese, skip this step. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to take a moment and really look at these patties. Don't these really look like burgers? I'm telling you, the beets being put in here, you cannot taste them, but it's just going to give it that color of the raw meat that some of you are used to eating. Now it is time for the reveal. Ladies and gentlemen, these burgers, I'm just gonna get out of character and say they on hit, okay? They on hit. So we are done, ladies and gentlemen, just like that. These burgers are done and they are ready to be served. And when you make them, you can impress your friends with these and say, Percy sent you. And look how beautiful the display is, ladies and gentlemen. We have the sauce. We have the freshly cooked chips. We have all of our fresh veggies that we're going to put on our burgers. Welcome back, Diabetes family. Welcome back, baby. Now, wasn't that video amazing? So, what we have here is our burger. Doesn't that look so good, ladies and gentlemen? So good. And also, I did a set of fries. I just sliced up and made these chips. 
And I'm gonna tell you right now, these taste so good. So let's get to eating. Let's do the taste test. Sorry, I, I shouldn't be talking with my mouth full. So let's get to eating. Let's do the taste test to see how your boy did. Y'all already know. So here we go. I want you guys to look at the structure of this burger. And this is all healthy for you. I mean, and, and did I say this is healthy for you? Look at, hold on, I'm gonna go ahead and just take a bite of it. You guys, usually when I used to make these burgers, they would sink in and fall apart. But yo, nice and firm. It tastes amazing. I suggest you guys try this on your next barbecue. But also, with the few chipotle chilies that I added to the blender, you get a hint of heat. It's not an overpowering, uh, it's not an overpowering bite. So, I mean, y'all, y'all. <laughs> I think what I was missing out on on my previous videos or the previous times that I've made these types of burgers is the amount of oats that I used, the measurements. So the two cups of oats and you blend that first before you add anything else in it, I believe this helped out with the recipe. But I'm gonna go ahead and smash on this food real quick. I wanna thank each and every one of you guys for taking the time and watching my videos. That means so much to me. And make sure before you leave, hit the like button because that helps me out in the algorithm. You know what I mean? That pushes my videos up so more people get a chance to enjoy these healthy types of videos. But anyways, like I said, I'ma smash on this food. So I'ma end on this note. If you eat good, you live good and you feel good. And don't forget to tune in, tell a friend, and subscribe. Holla at ya, boy. Peace.